Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren from Lady Lauren Explorer. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I'm going to do I Need to Start or Complete the Series. I have a whole bunch of books because we're in my living room. Here, this is my physical to be our shelf for like, that's not in my room. And then my in my room is another physical to VR for like immediately. <laughs> so um, let's get started on the books that I need to start reading. And you let me know, like comment down below if I need to like put them higher up on my physical to VR or you know if they're like a low priority. And again, there's some series I haven't even started that I just have the complete series of. So yes, let's get started. Oh, I'm also drinking out of my Mason King says. <sighs> yes, this is so cute. I love it. I think I got this out of my Hello Lovely. <sighs> As a series, I have to start, which makes me think I should start the sad one first. So I have the complete series of the, I don't even know what this is called, the Sweet series, I'm thinking. So I have Sweet Addiction, Sweet Possession and sweet obsession and i know that this is for sweet obsession because he's mason king and this is by jay daniels and oh, i really want to know so this one says it was supposed to be a one night stand which we love and i love this cover this cover looks really beautiful this planning forever never tasted so sweet maybe she's a a wedding baker like she bakes wedding cakes oh and they each come with like their own like postcard <laughs> and then this one says we were just friends until we weren't and again a little postcard but yeah this is a sweet addiction series i know i'm supposed to start this soon soon i mean soon but like i literally don't know when i'm gonna start this i guess i should start from up there let me do that all right, I got them all down from like the very top. So I have the complete series of, I don't even know what this is called, but this is by Stacey Marie Brown. And this is from the, the Ar Arcane Society one. I know it's a fantasy. I just don't, I also, yeah, this is the Savage Land series. I don't know what, if this is a reverse harem or if this is just like a, a dark fantasy series, um, which is like an MF, but I literally have the whole entire series. So I have Savage Lands, Wild Lands, Dead Lands, Blood Lands, Bat Lands, and Shadowlands. Again, I don't know when I'm gonna get this. And you see, like, I literally still have the wrap on majority of them. So yeah, I haven't even started on this. <laughs> For this one, this is a duet. And this is the Alma Jones. I don't, a Midnight Mayhem series. I haven't started on it. <laughs> I really think it's a duet. I don't know anything else about this besides it being a dark garment and some of the art prints on it and it's having to do with a circus. But I do know Novel Grounds has some really good not safe for work art prints for this too. And I, mm, it makes me want to read it. This duet is by Rena Kent and it's the all the lies and all the truths. This is the last chapter one. I don't know anything about this besides this being a dark romance. And maybe Mafia, because there's bullet holes. So. Next is by Rude Nix. And this is the only two books I have for the series because they're special editions. And, I, and the other two books won't be a special edition, so. I, ha I would have to like get the other ones. But I know that this is a dark romance series following different couples. I don't know anything else, <laughs> but I know that I have to read this because everyone raves about this as well. 
Next is the Lord series by Samantha Rue and Angel Lawson. This is the Kickstarter edition. I don't know if I'm gonna finish. I, if I'm gonna start reading this. I do know that the Dukes is a different series. It's an offshoot of this series, but I also want to read them all continually. So I don't know. I, but I do know that this ends, like this is this, this is it. And then also like this, but um, this is a dark bully reverse harem romance with like a stepbrother in here as well. And amnesia, I think, but I, I don't know. <laughs> I have Lords of Mercy, Lords of Wrath, and Lords of Pain. And then I have Lady of Four, Forsyth. I think that's the, that's the series of it. The Royals of Forsyth. Cupidy by Raven Kennedy. The Omnibus of the, I think, five book series, fantasy. Don't know. I just know I need to start it. <laughs> Next, we have Lost Boys series. I think this is the Romance Me Box one. I have the complete one. I know this is an MM Rockstar romance. I don't know if it's like an all one or if it's just like an MM in here, but it's the two books in the novella. I've seen um, one of my friends, the king of MM romance, if you know, then you know. He raves about this as well. Then I have, I think this is Marley's Must Reads. This is the Worthless Boy series by Bailey Nicole. I have no idea what this book is about. I think it's a rockstar romance, but this, it looks really good. It has a complete series. So <laughs> the next one I got in my Dark and Quirky box. Um, this is the Monica James collection. So I know I have the trilogy, I don't know what this is called, but maybe it's called Saint Series, and then the Devil's Crown duets. So I'm gonna have to read these soon as well. I think I'm gonna leave these out because I think I might as well just read them now. And then last but not least for the top shelf is my husband material and boyfriend material. These are so cute. I love this. But this is by um, Alexis Hall. I know this is fake dating and then like husband material is actually like literally the, uh, like they're married. So <laughs> we all know what happens in the end of this book. But it's fake dating, it's an MM romance. I heard really good things about this. I know that the spice isn't that big in this, but I'm okay with it because I sometimes really like this, this plot more than spice. You know, I'm just saying, I want, I want to fall in love with these characters, especially if it's going to be a series. If it's like going to be one book, I care about the spice. Just... All right, onward to the second shelf. We're on shelf two. So this one, I have a lot of series. I, I haven't even started on them. Like, I have so many of these. I think the first two shelves really consist of a lot of series books. So I have the Torment series. This is the Dark and Disturbed hardback second run edition. The first the first run was just the first book one and book two in paperback form with the girl and the guy on the cover, but this is the complete series. And I just, I'm scared because I know book two has the one where everyone cries and I'm just, I'm nervous because like I get attached. And even though I hate him in part one, I know part two is what everyone, like everyone tells me that this broke their heart. This made them go into a reading slump. I'm just not prepared for what I know is coming because I actually know what's, what's gonna happen to the character. I know it, but I still gonna cry. <laughs> but I need to finish the series. I'm just saying so I can figure out if I want to keep these or not. Because <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to cry or not. Oh my gosh, like in Darling Venom, like I love the book, but I know I can't reread it because I cry so much throughout the book. Next is the Guild series by Tate James. This is the Fabled Cult editions of them. And it's Honey Trap. Love it. It dropped. And then 
kill order. And so this is a reverse harem romance. I think it has like assassins in it, maybe. I just, ha I have a whole bunch of Tate James. I mean a whole bunch, I mean like collapse series and other series that I have a complete series of, but I haven't read them. And I'm just, <laughs> I just basically hoard them right now. But I will wear these at some point in time. The next one is the Raven Hood series by Kate Stewart. So I know this is a controversial art, uh, author. So I did not know when I bought the series what all happened with this author, but I already bought the series and there was no refunds. So I decided to just, <laughs> just keep them <laughs> but I do know that in Exodus that is it's chapter 23 and I read the scene and not even knowing the characters I still cried when everything went down so I don't know if I'm ever going to read these <laughs> I just got these for my birthday book haul. Um, I don't know what these series is called. The New York Players by Lulu Moore. I know there's five books in the series. I only once hit through the books because the other two books was Brother's Best Friend and Coach's Daughter. And I just, it didn't appeal to me, especially with the other tropes for Brother's best friend. I was just like, ah, okay, whatever. But these appeal to me. I know one of these is like a second chance romance. So <laughs> um, it's Jasper, Cooper, and Drew. Oh, and this is a hockey romance series. Okay, so the next ones are by Jennifer Hartman. I got this from the Bell Book Box. And this is the Heart Song Duet at so like I know about this. It's probably gonna be angsty. This is the Complete Dare series by Chantal Tesser. If you remember, I read the first book in the Dare series and I just never picked up the second to third book. So now I can actually read the whole entire series, but it's the Onyx sub. Yeah, Onyx sub. But yeah, so this is the Complete series. I think it has, it's a trilogy. Yeah, it's a trilogy. I dare you, I promise you, if you dare. Um, next is the Blood and Roses series by Collier Hearts. This is the Mystic Edition. Yeah, Mystic Edition. I think this is a Mafia romance. That's all I have for you. I have to read this at some point. <laughs> oh my gosh, this. All right, so this is Megan Brandy. This is the first two books in the Boys of Briar High series. I know, I think there's like five or seven in this series. So this is the first two. I know I have to read this at some point in time. I'm just nervous about how long the series is. This is a dark bully romance, reverse harem romance, and I'm just, I'm nervous. I've dealt with a whole bunch of four to five book series of one couple or one reverse harem and it drained me. So I got to get in the mind frame for this one. So the next series I have is the Mongolia Universe series. This is, um, think of like Gossip Girl with like with no Gossip Girl, but like the rich of the rich and their problems and their lives with maybe like hints of like mafia in it, I think, or like sometimes the organized crime in here, just saying. But um, for the first one, which is Mongolia Parks, um, this is Mongolia and she's dealing with like, I think it's like a second chance romance, like very toxic because her best friend, her best guy friend, who's also her ex-boyfriend, had and, like cheated on her and we're, like you're throughout the book you're trying to figure out like who he cheated on with but like they're very toxic together and she's just trying to get her life together that's all I really know so I just know that like it's Mongolia and her toxic relationship with BJ and him like 
they both string each other along and other people along. And then you have Daisy Hates. This is the second book in the series. And this is Mongolia's other best friend. And this book follows Daisy's point of view during Mongolia's book. But we also figure out, like, Daisy's also going through some things as well with her own love triangle, square, octagon of, like, things that's happening in both their universes with people that they frequent with. Then we go back to Mongolia and Long Way Home. Um, her With her new lover and BJ and so much going on. I don't know. I just know that it's a back and forth. <laughs> and then we go back to Daisy and the, um, the Great Undoing. And then this, the next book is Mongolia again. And I'm hoping, like, I don't want to read this series until Mongolia and BJ are together. Because everyone knows that the end game is going to be them together. So I don't want to get my heart ripped out, like, throughout following this whole entire series. And they don't end up together, finally. So that's why I haven't read this series yet. Okay, on to the third <laughs> row. Okay, I wanted to show this to you all before I, like, broke it down. Um, this is not even most of them because I still have some over here. I got most of the ones that were in my room, which now I have to bring them back. But <laughs> all that is all the series that I haven't read yet. So um, let me bring you back to shelf three. I have the Gummy Bear series. Um, the Gummy Bear Orgy series by um, Rebecca Rennick. This is Pinky Promise and her favorite Jack or Lantern. Each book has a different character in it. I know that the series is a interconnected series. Haven't read it yet, but I do have the special edition ones of this where the font matches the actual cover. Love that for it. Okay, next is St. Mary's Rebel series by Saffron Kent. I have the complete series of this. Let me put this down. <laughs> so I have two editions of A Gorgeous Villain. This is the Bella, not Bella. This is the Belle edition, and this, this is the Bright Side Candles edition. Love them both. Each book in the series follows a different couple, different tropes, obviously, and there is a brother's best, there is, no, there is a sister's fiance trope in here that I just don't want, <laughs> but I'll read it to see if I'm gonna like it. So then we have My Darling Arrow, which I think is the sister's fiance, because I think he's a headmaster or something like that. And then we have Hey, Mr. Marshall, which I think, think is a professor maybe or maybe this is the one that's the sister's fiance oh no he's her guardian and then we have these thorn kisses is this the her best friend's brother and then last one is the hate sick diaries and i don't know which one this one is but I know this is a second chance romance. Next is the Ruthless Boys series. Oh, this is the dark and quirky edition. So I have like the whole complete series. And I know this is a dark fantasy romance, paranormal romance. And this one has, I think, well, this is a reverse harem too. Ugh. But I have... Dark Fae, Savage Fae, Vicious Fae, Broken Fae, and Warrior Fae. Then I have of Tour series. This is a Rockstar romance. This is the first book in the series. I think there's it's a duet or it's a trilogy. That's all I have for this. I was given this, so I don't really know what it's about besides it being a Rockstar romance, and I think they're on tour. These next two is by Cleo Evans, and this is the Doves and Demons. This is the first book in the trilogy. This is a dark fantasy reverse harem romance that has, ooh, what is it called? Steampunk and monsters. I have the first two, so this is the first book. And then I got the second book during Stuff for Kindle Day. So then 
all I have to do is get the third book in the trilogy on KU. Then we have Cosmic Kisses. This is the Elastic uh, Gems series. I think this is also an interconnected standalone. So this book is the first book in the series, but they each follow a different couple. This is also an interracial, dark fantasy romance with monsters set in space. So yeah, <laughs> B.B. Easton's um, The Rain Complete Trilogy. I know this is an uh, apocalyptic romance. And I know this is a touch her in uh, an alive you vibes. I have my cover to cover the Power Brothers um, duet by Cassandra Robbins. This is super elegant, super beautiful, and I can't wait to read this. I know, I think this is a billionaire romance. Kingsington um, by Leela James. This is the Half Horn trilogy. So Kingsington is the first book. I think it's canon the second, and then Archer's the last book. Yes, Kingsington canon and Archer. This is a dark bully reverse harem. And I really am so glad that one of my friends bought this for me for my birthday haul so I can get on it to read the other two books in the series. And last but not least for this third shelf is the Mind Death series by um, S.T. Abbey. This is a serial killer romance where I, our heroine is a serial killer and the FBI agent is the person who's in charge of her case, but he doesn't know that she's a serial killer and they fall in love. I've heard so many good things about the series, but I have to, I think there's like six books in here, six or seven books in here. Okay, on to the second to last shelf, which is this one. <laughs> All right, so the second to last shelf, which is the fourth shelf, this one is Coda and Aria by Jennifer Harton, Hartman. I think this is a, a, a musician romance. I don't know. I literally bought this because of FOMO and this is the OOPs. I think they're going to be OOPs soon. So I wanted to have them because they were like really, really cute. Next is the Brutal Birthright series by Sophie Lark. I think I have all the books in the series. So I have Brutal Prince, the new edition with the um, I think this is the edition where she got picked up by a publishing house, but it also has like illustrations in it. So you see that? Illustrations. Illustrations. <laughs> Savage Lover. This is the, I think the Hel Hello Lovely one. Yeah, this is the Hello Lovely, Lovely edition of it. Also, I don't know if these are out of order. Stolen Air. I got these secondhand from a friend, so she already tabbed them up. Bloody Heart, Broken Vow, and Heavy Crown. Then an offshoot of that series is the Children series. I don't know what the series is called, but I do have, I think I have all of them. The Bully. I think The Rebel is next. The Savage. And the last one is The Spy. Then I have um, Dead Men Walking series. I only have one book from the series and this is the first one. I don't know if the trilogy is going to be in the same one because I know they changed covers. So I should have gotten it when I could. <laughs> then I have the Harley Quinn Crew trilogy. I think there's maybe one more, but I have the first three, or I think this is just a trilogy and there isn't the series. But um, it's The Playground. This is a dark reverse harem. So is the Walking, the Walking Dead series. They're all reverse harems. But this is a dark one. I, and this is The Playground, Dead Men Isle, and Carnival Hill. Then I have Villainous by Art Sapphire. I know that this is a rock star romance, I think. I don't know if I bought the complete the series for this. I have to go check. I hope I did, but this is the first one. And I think it's a rock star, like suspense murder romance. Her little take. 
I think this used to be a trilogy, now it's a four book series. I know that each of them follow a different couple. It's a dark romance, mainly guilt towards like demons. So I think he takes her, tries to take her soul and they fall in love or some, something like that. Very possessive, trying to trigger him for this. The Boys of Bell Roy's series by Jalen, Damon, Eve, and Tate James. I think this is a rock star series as well. Maybe a reverse harem as well, because Tate James usually does reverse harems. But I have Poison Rose, Dirty Truths, Shattered Dreams, and Beautiful Thorns. And then last but not least for this one is Lithium Oasis. This is the last book in Lithium Springs series. I've read both the first and second one. I love the second one. The second one is like hands down my favorite of them all. It does have infidelity in it because she cheats on her boyfriend to be with him. Love it though. I love it. But this is that hero's sister in his band me, his best friend, and them being together. Love it. I cannot wait to read this. Okay, on to the last bookshelf in here, and then we go to my room. All right, so I pulled the books, and our first one is another Tate James, and this is the Madison Kate series. And this is a dark reverse harem as well. So I have hate, liar, fake, and Kate. Then I have the complete series of The Devil's Night by Penelope Douglas. This is the mystic edition of it and they completed it. I got the last three books yesterday. So um, the first one is Corrupt. They're all dark romances, but this follows our first couple. I have three different editions of Corrupt. <laughs> then it's Hideaway, Kill Switch, Nightfall, and Conclave and Fire Night. I know that Conclave is technically like a point. Uh, I think it's a 2.5 or 3.5. So it either goes between Hideaway and Kill Switch or Kill Switch and Nightfall. And then Fire Night is the last. It's basically like a, a beluge of all of the family and has their kids point of view in it. Then we have King of Wrath. This is the Kings of Sin series by Anna Hong. This is, I think this is the first book in the series. I've heard many good things about the series. Um, each book follows a different couple, obviously, but I, this is all my physical TBR. Next is Reaper. This is the second book in the Soldiers of Anarchy series. Psycho was the first one, and you know I I love Psycho. It's I have almost every version of it, including the newest version that's coming out as well. My last chapter, so yeah, I have a lot. <laughs> um, this is the second the second book, and I think the Joker is the third, and the player is the fourth. Then we have Dirty Crazy Bad by Savoyne Davis. This is, I think this is a duet, but I also think this is a dark reverse harem, but I've heard many good things about this. Then we have Lola and the Millionaires. This is a Omegaverse, so it's also a reverse harem as well. I That's all I really know about this. This is by Catherine Moon. Next is the I Think Dare You by Emma Darcy series. You kind of got some of this if you read the Elethal, um, the Filthy Elite series. Um, that's this is like in the same realm the same world of the Emma Darcy and if you don't know Emma Darcy you probably know her as May Sage or Alexia Blake <laughs> that she does fantasy or high fantasy romances as well under those pseudonym names and then last but not least for this shelf is the Welcome to Blackwood Institution this is the Midnight Bookshelf Edition. I know that this is a dark romance. Check the trigger warnings in here. It's a reverse harem set in, in, in a asylum. So everyone got something going on in their lives. But um, check the trigger warnings. But this is the Twisted Heathens. Then you have Sacrificial Sinners. And then this is the last one is the Desecrated Saints. Okay. 
let's move to my room. So I'm in my room now and I have this three stacks. <laughs> you see like that shelf is, I need to go back up. So I know that this is the Fallen Men series. There's only certain books that I want to read in the Fallen Men series. And these are the books I want to, because I've already read A Lesson in, in Corruption. Love that book. But this is After the Fall, and this is the continuation of A Lesson, A Lesson in Corruption, Following the Same Pebble, in Dead Men Walking. I wanted to read this because this one has the... I think he lost an eye and he's also mute. Oh, but these are the girl covers, obviously. <laughs> I guess I can count this as well. I don't know if I'm gonna read the entire series, but I do want to read this, The Throttled in the Dirty Air series. I know this is a brother's rival. I might read the rest of the series if I like this series. Well, if I like this book. Then you know I have love for Vibers and Vestros, but that's part of the Muses, Monsters and Muses series. This is the first book in the series, and this is um, Promises and Pomegranates. I kind of read the first chapter of this, and then I fell off. Then I read Vibers and Vestros and fell in love. But I will be reading the rest of the series, going back to this book, too. I also have the Fate Crate special editions of the complete series, because I also have, I didn't show it to you guys, but I have... I think it's five or six. I think I have six in there. Souls and Sorrows. Sorrows and Souls have that one. I will get to the series. I'll probably read the Fake Crate Special Editions to get me going. Next is God of Ruin. This is the fourth book in the Legacy of God series by Ruben Kent. I haven't read this yet, but I am going to because the fifth book, God of Fury, which is the only MM in the series. I don't even know where to read that one. Um, is coming out in December, so I need to like carry up and read this. But I decided that I was just going to read special editions of it by Baddies because I have ordered this one already. Um, and I've read The God of Wrath, which you saw me I already have God of Pain, which is the second book. So I'm just waiting for God of Wrath to come and then God of Ruin will be the next one to be shipped out and then God of Fury. But I already know that I'm going to read God of Fury before the special edition comes out. So I might as well just get the paperback and read as well. The next one is the Pretty Broken series by J.R. Gray. You know I love Pretty Obsessed, which is the first book. I haven't read any of the next ones, even though I have them and I have the special edition of Pretty Toxic. This is the Hello Lovely Love is Love edition of it. It's beautiful. This is an MM Rockstar romance. I'm nervous, but since the stories are complete, like the series is complete, I think I'm going to read this at some point in time. So that's why it's in my room. But we have the second book, which is Pretty Toxic, Pretty Wreck, Pretty Eft, and Pretty Black. Then we have Haunting and Haunting Adeline. This is the Mystic Edition of it. And you know, I have the Omnibus, which is like up there, the big one that H.G. Carlton did herself. Um, I'm not getting rid of that one. But these, if I like the new versions of these that Mystic is doing, I will then give these back to Mystic and get the new versions. But for right now, this is the two that we have. And the reason why um, they're getting new editions is because this was created by AI and they don't support AI creations. Next is Play With Me by Becca Mack. This is for Playing For Keeps series, The Hockey Romance. This is the second book in the series. I haven't read it yet, but I am. Consider Me was my favorite because it was the first one and I cannot wait to fall in love with this hero in it. Next is Find Me. This is the um, Wick Sick series. Um, I know that this is a reverse harem series. I think there's a serial killer in here. And I think it's like a bully to suspense. I don't know if Baddies is going to complete the series. I know it did finish though. Because there's four books in the series. Next is the Twisted series by Anna Hong. 
This, I already read Twisted Love. I already have those. I showed you those two editions of it. But I have Twisted Games, which is a princess and her bodyguard. Oh, this is the Stimulant edition of it. Twisted Hate, which is a best friend's brother book. The heroine from Twisted Love, her best friend and her brother start a love-hate relationship that goes from friends with benefits to lovers to other things that are happening in the series. Again, this is the Stimulant edition and this is the special edition discrete version of it. And then last one is Twisted Lies. Um, this is I a billionaire fake fake dating or fake marriage stalker-ish kind of romance. This is the OOP male cover, the Stimulant edition, the cover to cover edition. And this is super beautiful. I love this edition. Then we have the On My Knees series by um, Elise James. This is an MM romance. I know this is an angsty and it has worship, adore, and commune in it. This is the cover a cover edition. It's so beautiful. It's so reflective too. The last three books in the Green Creek series by TJ Klune. I love Wolf Song. I almost have every single version of Wolf Song there is. <laughs> but this is Raven Song, Brother Song, and Heart Song. That series, I think, is um, Shifters and Mates. Then we have the special edition volume one, volume two of Warts and Claws, Inc. by Cleo Evans. The special edition has a not safe for work in the actual book, in the pages. I don't want to show it to you because they're not safe for work and I will get <laughs> flagged on YouTube if I show it to you. But this is a um, all kinds of couples. There's male, male, male. There's male, female, female. There's female, female, female. There's um, female, male, female. A lot, lots going on in here, a lot. And they're all monsters. Some of them are, <laughs> majority of them are. Next is the Why Are You Here? Um, this is the special edition, dark and quirky edition. I know this is a rock star romance. Also, I know it's, I think it's a trilogy, but this is very toxic. This is a will they, won't they kind of thing. And there is cheating in here. I think on both parties. Second to last is the Broken Love series by B.B. Reed. I've already read Fear Me. I'm going to reread it to get back into the story of this. But Fear Me and Fear You follow the same couple. And I think Fear, Fear Us follows the same. That's, those three are the same couple. But this is a dark, dark romance. Non-comp, trigger warnings. This is the mystic edition of it before I did like sprayed edges, but love this. And then Fear You is a continuation of Fear Me. Then we have Fear Us, which is the last of this couple. And Broken Love is our heroine's best friend in the series. And her love story that happens throughout the series of, of the Fear the Fear You, Fear Me, Fear Us kind of thing. And it's just like a chance romance because of what happens and then the fearless is the last of this couple and last but not least is this series by a jade i forgot what this series is called but the first book is cruel prince all this is dark romance um and this is a friends to Enemies to Lovers Romance. Night is a bully romance. Which are going of E.D. in here. He does bully her a lot. And then Broken Kingdom is part three and part four of the last two in the series. because It follows the same couple, which is their sister. So that is all of the I Need to Complete the Series or I Need to Start the Series. If there is any book series that was in this video that I need to be put into a tier of you need to read this as soon as possible, let me know, comment down below which, which series it is. I have so many. Let's send me a long video. 
But thank you for sticking with me. <laughs> I have so many things to complete and read and figure out how <laughs> But my name is Lauren. I post a video Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So please be subscribed to me when I'm when I'm uploading. And again, thank you all for sticking through with this. If you made it this far, can you put in the comments the emoji of um, an apple? Yeah, apple emoji. But I hope you all have a wonderful day and I hope to see you all in the next video. Bye! <laughs>